Hello everyone, today I will be reviewing the Photon Mono Ultra. This printer is a great starting point for anybody interested in their new 3D printing journey. Don't underestimate the size of this printer. It may be small, but the inside of this printer packs a very powerful machine capable of achieving amazing details at a very rapid pace with the right settings and resin used. In terms of technology, it's on par with the latest M7 Pro pack with very useful features that make anybody's life easier printing. For example, the resin detection for any failed parts, intelligent lifespan, and more useful features. For Anycubic, this is their new standard printer for anybody who wants to begin at a very affordable price, but also not feel left behind with the bigger and more powerful machines. It also feels like this is a mini version of the M7 Pro. The style of this printer makes this stand out from the previous counterpart, which is the Mono 4K. The Ultra has a very slick design to the M7 series family, rocking that majestic black cover. With the added benefits of 10K high precision and very fast printing speed if necessary. Throughout my experience with this printer, I had a very pleasant time. It's truly an easy experience out of the box and setting it up. The UI interface feels very familiar if you previously have owned an M7 printer or M5. The touchscreen is very responsive. It feels very great with every movement. The build plate is significantly bigger to its old counterpart, both in height and space for printing larger pieces if necessary. Since I know my audience is mainly focused on Godzilla, let me show you what this printer is capable of printing. For example, Godzilla miniatures, even like accessories, for example, swappable heads, hands, anything like that, this printer can do it. It's a perfect example of what 3D printing can do and how far it's come throughout the years. You won't have any problems achieving amazing results and details with this printer. In this video, I may not get very technical like other reviewers out there. My point here is to showcase my experience and show you what this printer brings to the table and brings in terms of technology and quality to anybody who is interested in buying a very affordable yet a very powerful printer at a very great price point. Throughout the video, you're going to see me print multiple figures with this printer like anime, Godzilla, maybe accessories. I want to give you an idea of what this printer can really do in terms of how much you can really pack into this and how you can benefit from this printer. Is it really worth it to buy it? Is it really for you or not? One of my main concerns going into this printer and reviewing it was how loud is this printer going to be? Is it really going to smell really bad? Now, this is a main concern for me because the M7 Pro, for me personally, is extremely loud, very distracting, and it smells extremely toxic. No matter what I do, even if I open my windows, doors, it always smells extremely bad, and that's obviously not healthy. So, I was worried about that. Surprisingly, this printer is very silent. Uh, it doesn't smell at all and that's thanks to me using the purifier as well But even with that one, I don't think it's really necessary That is something I'm going to showcase in this video with the purifier and without the purifier a sound test Obviously, you're probably watching the unboxing what's inside of the box and we're going to do a size comparison with the m7 pro and with the old counterpart the mono 4k very curious to see how both of them stack up, but surprisingly, this is a lot bigger as I've said already. I like that it's much bigger than the older counterpart. In every way, it's a lot better in terms of technology, features, uh, quality. Everything just feels really great about this printer. I'm also going to showcase a quality difference between this and the M7 Pro and other printers to see if there's really any differences between them. Now, before I move on to the negative things about this, you have to keep in mind this is a test review. It is a unit sent out to me for the purpose of testing and sending my honest feedback. 
Now the negative part about this printer is there's no screen protection. I think that should definitely be a standard for any printer out there. The purifier is separately. That's a bummer. It is what it is, but it would have been nice if there's the use for the purifier. You might as well include that if this is the ultra version. The other negative that may impact some people, it's using high speed film. Some people don't like this because it affects the quality of the prints. I don't think there's a major difference, but there's people out there that claim that there is a major difference. To be honest, you can only tell if you're using a very, very close up camera up to the figures. Otherwise, with your naked eye, I personally cannot tell. For people that don't understand why this is being used well, it's mainly used to achieve very, very high speed prints. If anybody wants to print something at a very crazy speed, this will be achievable with this type of high speed film. Otherwise, you can always switch it up with the standard version to, you know, achieve just a little bit better details if that's what you really care for. But for me personally, I prefer to use either one of them. Uh, it doesn't really bug me. I'm just putting it out there that it is something that some people don't like. Another benefit that I've noticed is that it has multiple uses compared to the standard version. What I mean by this is that this high speed film allows you to print longer without damaging, you know, the fab. It also means you don't have to constantly keep on changing the fab or, you know, removing those annoying screws that take an hour or 30 minutes. Now surprisingly the printer is extremely quiet even without the purifier attached. It might sound extremely loud right now but that's because I'm close to the printer. My thoughts with this printer after using it for two weeks has been a great experience without any issues. It's a user friendly easy to use out of the box with amazing details. I believe we're hitting a mark with 3D printers where quality isn't the main focus anymore. It's rather giving the customer amazing quality of life features that make a great impact like innovative features that take technology to the next level. I believe it's time we get a printer out of the box without having to deal with those resin settings or any of those struggles most of us don't want to anymore. Do I recommend this printer? Absolutely. Especially for new beginners interested in the 3D industry, you can't go wrong with this printer at its price range. Dear Anycubic, thank you for giving me this opportunity to review this printer. I hope my feedback is useful and we continue to build a great community amongst everybody. For the rest of the video, please enjoy me showcasing Scylla and other figures to really demonstrate what this printer is capable of doing in terms of size, dimensions, and the quality overall. Please like the video, comment your thoughts, and share the video. It really helps me out push this video to other people that might be interested in buying a new 3D printer or anybody that loves figures. It really means the world to me. Thank you so much for watching the video and supporting me. I'll catch you guys next time.